Hello students, hope you all are doing fine. So in this video today, we will be seeing the route to architecture in India. So now I will be introducing myself to you. I am Amir Haider Khan and I am studying Bachelor's in, of Architecture in Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. So I will be ex explaining elaborately to you the procedure to get into this course. Now we, let's get into the video. B arc which is called the Bachelor of Architecture. This is a five year undergraduate program which mainly focuses on the art and science of designing and constructing buildings. This is nothing but the this course will focus in the building or constructing sector. So now about this course, the duration of the course is five years which is divided into 10 semesters. So as you know, one semester is equal to six semester. So this will, this ten semesters is equal to five years. So we will go and look into the eligibility of this course. Basically, the student must have at least fifty percentage marks in their plus two or any other equivalent diploma. Let it be in any stream, they must have minimum of fifty percentage. Let's see which other exams you have to clear first. So there are two mandatory exams which need to be cleared, which is JWE main paper two, which is in other words joint entrance examinations mains. This is as you know this is famous for engineering courses where when you have to study in NITs, IITs and other reputed colleges. But they have a paper two especially exclusive exclusively for architecture, and NATA National Aptitude Testing Assessment. This is also a very mandatory exam if you have to. Enter into this course, and now we will go into the curriculum of this entrance exam. The syllabus includes subjects like architectural design, building construction, computer application, history of architecture, drawing, aptitude, logical reasoning, etc., etc., and mathematics also. So this is a very basic entrance exam, which you can really pass without any hard work or uh, what to say much. Uh, preparation there are various private and government colleges but we will be only focusing on government colleges because this is a very expensive course so it's better for us to into government colleges which has good reputation and also has good faculty also so first will be jj college of architecture mumbai maharashtra the next will be college for environmental planning Te and technology ahmedabad which is in gujarat so these colleges prefer nata not jwe mains and jamia millia islamia new delhi this was having jwe mains till past few years but for past two years they are accepting nata scores now anna university chennai tamil nadu they are accepting nata scores university of mysore in karnataka they are also accepting nata score andhra university visakhapatnam in andhra pradesh also accepts nata score DTU, which is Delhi Technological University, also accepts NATA score. NATA score. Aligarh Muslim University also accepts NATA score. IITs, NITs, which only few IITs and NITs offer this course, like IIT Roorkee and Karakpur, they only provide this course. In NITs, if you see, like six to seven NITs prefer provide this course. So these IITs and NITs need JWE mains paper two to. Get into the colleges and many more renowned colleges are there. We, I will send you the link of that in the description. So, what is the role of a BR graduate? A BR graduate is uh, eventually known as an architect. He becomes an architect if he finishes this five-year course of BR. So, he has many roles to play in this uh, construction field. He can start with an architectural assistant, or he can start with an assistant architect. He will supervise the and guide the and guide and plan and what to say and uh, design many uh, spaces and his role will be checking the drawings, checking the dimensions and ensure that all the norms are followed correctly in the drawing or the design. So many other roles are there like uh, furniture designer, interior designer, landscape designer. Interior designing designer uh, designs the interiors of any space. The landscape designer designs the greenery or the uh, to say landscape of uh, 
site or a, what to say plot and uh, many other uh, industrial designer he can uh, design big big uh, structures and uh, bim designer bim designer is like uh, it's a bim is a specific software which is being used and uh, there is a uh, post now recently called bim designer and lots of other uh, scopes are there you can even uh, there are there is there are like um, film architecture also it's like movies may how the art sets and art uh, what to say buildings are uh, shot everything will be shown there there are like there is a vast range of uh, designing fields for an br graduate so now we will go into the next slide so companies which hire architect generally architects are hired by public sector units and multinational level companies sometimes architects can do freelance works they can have their own firms they can go and work in abroad and lot they have like plenty of options in india and in, uh, abroad so we will see basically a rough idea of what what are the major companies which are hiring architects so in public sector units you can see cpwd uh, hiring architects cpwd is nothing but central public works department so in that department basically architects will be checking upon the roads the quality of roads the drainage system the planning and uh, what to say the uh, bridges flyovers etc etc many other uh, what to say town planning or city planning factors which are uh, necessary so in the architect plays a very crucial role in in these plannings and next is all state town planning departments so each state has different town planning units or departments where the the town planner or the senior most officer must uh, approve the plan of a particular area or colony community where he has to see all the aspects like electricity roads drainage system etc and all the basic facilities he has to make sure that this is all planned well and executed well and next is highway authority of india if you see india is a very vast country and we need a highway uh, usage a lot and lot of uh, vast economy in india is dependent on highways so these highways should be in a very good quality and they have to be planned in such a way that the land used for highway shouldn't be affecting any other any agricultural uh, person or any other person or any other city or any other place so the planning of the highway should be very proper and uh, quality should be a quality work so architects are very necessary for these projects so highway authority of india also highway highest them you see in different sector you can be surprised you what is needed in different sector but in different sector there are many uh, architects hired for the infrastructural development inside the different sector if we take any base it will be air force navy or uh, army base you would definitely need buildings and definitely need uh, what to say resilient building which can uh, go through wars or any other emergency situation or any other uh, what to say natural calamity also so architects are very in need for this creative process so next is disaster management department so disaster management department has to uh, what to say approve buildings which are like uh, earthquake uh, resistance or flood uh, proof or what to say many many other which can uh, withstand uh, any natural calamity so these type of uh, th this department also hires uh, architects and if you see at the last intact asi etc so asi is the archaeological survey of india so they actually do a survey of all the <coughs> historical buildings or historical monuments and they try to conserve it without like conserve in the sense that uh, they try to uh, keep the building protected from any other uh, uh, what is anti social elements so like uh, uh, many uh, even because of due to a natural environment the building gets eroded as time passes so these uh, 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 organizations like asi intact they try to maintain the building and uh, what to say they prepare the process of renovation and stuff so these are the, there are many uh, vast uh, sectors where you can go through and if you see all these uh, the previous sister company companies everyone has different uh, motive in infrastructure development so you can choose your own career own path in architecture and if you see now we will come to multinational companies 
like lnt lnt is a, uh, also called a larsen and turbo this is an uh, what to say british based uh, company but uh, it has a lot of projects all over the world and in india also especially so they have bigger contracts in government private and etc they do many projects like office uh, administrative buildings highways metros railways etc so there also you can get uh, architects a lot and if you see dlf dlf is also a very big multinational company who uh, build malls uh, sh- so shopping malls um, uh, hotels and uh, many other uh, housing communities and uh, they also plan for for their plans and turner is also a very big company if you see gmr gmr builds big, big um, large huge airports in india across india they build uh, ports etc so for any airport or anything you will definitely need an architect to what to say plan those huge spaces because any normal civil engineer can't do that and other many private firms are there the small firms big firms are, can uh, hire an architect and even an architect himself can uh, do freelancing or himself can put up a his own firm and get his uh, projects by his own contacts so basically now we will discuss that what is the difference between a civil engineer or architect because all these companies hire civil engineers civil engineers and architects so architect basically designs a space he understands what the space is for he understand what is the space dimension he understand what all activities we can do in the space particular space comfortably so now what is the role of civil engineer civil engineer just it uh, uh, incorporates architect's plan and he plans the structural part of the building so if architect uh, plans a very big space so to build a space you need bricks uh, sorry you need uh, walls you need columns you need beams to make the building stable and strong so this planning of where the wall should come where the sorry where the column should come where the wall should come how many how much load the beam should uh, uh, go through how many how much load the wall should go through all so that the building doesn't collapse in any condition this planning will be done by civil engineer so this is the difference between architect and a civil engineer so all these company uh, hires both architect and civil engineer and get their both approvals before planning anything so now master of architecture which is also called as mr this is an advanced degree than b arc so this is a just a two year course degree and there are many specialized specialized courses so there are many streams like hospital architecture residence architecture urban planning uh, landscape architecture and you can go into different streams in different specializations even real estate management also so next comes the master of science or ms so this degree focuses on specialized area again and but this ms in architecture is only available in foreign countries and next comes doctor of architecture dr this also is a foreign uh, what to say doctorate uh, program which is not available in india this is also uh, a very uh, what to say designed for those who are aiming to reach the highest levels of architectural practice or the architectural academia and next is phd in architecture this is available both in india and in abroad so this research focus degree is very ideal for those who are interested in academic careers in architecture those who want to teach or uh, write research papers or do research on many other technologies and techniques so study abroad study or studying abroad is also very big uh, what to say um, chance for uh, br graduates so they will get many fellowships scholarships regarding architecture and you can uh, go and uh, what to say learn that foreign architecture and their practices and their uh, regulations and get jobs there too so this is the overall view or overall what to say um, summary of what architecture in india is so if any doubts you can contact us or write in drop your doubts in comment sections we will further uh, clarify your doubts thank you so much all the best